Hi, sir. I see you have a can of pledge in your hand. What's that for? We're going to show you how this pledge works on the plastics. It works It works really well. Let's see it before. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's pretty, it's, you know, plastics. They get stained and faded and whatever. You sh maybe you shouldn't drive it outside. I'm not going to. Maybe you should just leave it in here. After we clean it, let's not take it out anymore. Okay. So we're going to spray all this area. And it's, it smells so wonderful. Yeah. We're going to spray all this area. What I've been doing is spraying it down, letting it set, mm -hmm. and then uh, wiping it off. But I'm going to wipe it off right now just to show you the difference it makes. It really does smell good in here. It smells, you know what it smells like, I realized? Lemon fudge. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. You're a fruit Loop. Does it smell like Fruit Loops? Seriously? Tell me. Maybe a little bit. It does. Lemon Fruit Loops. It smells like Fruit Loops. Alright, we're going to wipe it down. Check it out. There we go. The reveal. Dun, dun. Oh my god. Yeah, you can tell. I have some scratches in the sticker, unfortunately. It's because somebody drives through all kinds of weird stuff and just <clears> messes <throat> it all up. It looks good. This is a live reveal of the Lemon Pledge Secret. Seen here on Dandy Off Road. You're welcome. Four dollars versus ten dollars, or whatever the other stuff is. Now I wonder. I'm curious. Well, we don't do a lot of desert or uh, mountain riding, but you remember, like with SC1, it kind of attracted the dust. Well, that's because we don't like it. Okay, well, I think, but. well, I'm just curious to see. We're gonna have to go do a, one of those tests someday. Okay. okay. So look at this area. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it makes a big difference. It feels good. To be yeah. So here's the difference after the pledge. The lemon pledge. Delicious lemon scented pledge. Delicious because it smells like fruit. But we're gonna, we pretty much doused the rest of this car already. You should have seen it before. Yeah. That's what it looks like now. What are you doing over here? So we were um, cleaning this thing up. Right. And I've been having trouble shutting this door, both doors. And opening them. So I loosened it up with the hinges. Thinking that I needed to raise it up or down because we actually did your side and that worked. Right. But then I noticed like this. This out. Pull this out of the way. Well, loose, huh? Yeah. I don't think that's the proper placement the for that. The latch was falling out. And that's why it's not catching so right. We, yeah. So we checked the other side. Same thing. The latch is falling out. I think we're using it too much. And in the meantime, we took the pledge challenge. We did. Look at this. Ooh. So shiny. Oh my gosh. You know what would be cool? If we had the door handles that like that um, Wildcat has. Yeah, the door handle on the outside. Or the YXZ. So you can just walk up to it. And Get in. It's a door handle for people on the go. Right. That's us. We're on the go. I don't even know what my hair is doing right now. So we're gonna Look at this, this though. We're going to readjust everything. Pledge challenge. Look at this. Oh my shininess, God. Okay, so you're readjusting. So I latched the door, tightened the hinge back down so the door's lined up where it needs to be. And let's see. Get this latch to work like it's supposed to. Was that easier? Wow. Well, I mean, that's kind of. a little bit of adjustment. Now, what are you going to use there? Your handy dandy little uh, Milwaukee? Milwaukee and a, um, and a, um, Pittsburgh T30. Pittsburgh T30, good old Harbor Freight one. Oh, actually, I didn't tighten the hinge all the way. So Sir, the latch. This is your first time? I didn't tighten the latch. We're all, I think we're high on pledge. We're definitely high That's on the pledge, pledge challenge. It's yeah. everywhere. Just, oh, look at that. Yeah, that was way loose. Yeah, that was about to fall out. So if anybody else is having problems with their door. Oh, it's amazing. And you know what else was happening? When we were riding, it's probably, it's been in a bunch of videos, my door would fly open. Oh, man, that seemed easy. Do me, do me. Make sure that's good inside, and then we will adjust the other side. Awesome. Good job. Good work here, team. We're doing the pledge challenge. I'm going to pull this out in the driveway right now so you can see it a little better and what sunlight's left. I don't know, it's pretty late. But look at it real quick in here. 
Look how good it looks. Look at these belts, how they pop. Our good friends over at Side by Side Blog hooked this up with those belts. They're nice, super nice. If you're looking for belts, I definitely, and this is not just because we have them, I definitely recommend these because look, away the, look at the way they're constructed. There's a metal, the metal latch. The belts are integrated into that metal latch. So when you pull these together, you pull them together in the middle, you don't have to pull down your shoulder harnesses and latch them and find them. You don't have to go through all those steps. You just pull two sides together and latch them. If you have the centerpiece, if you have the anti-submarine, if you have the don't slip under the dash belt down here, this guy, you just grab it, pull it up, latch them, done. And they're super nice. Look how nice those are. And they're three inch wide. Safe, safety, safety first. That's what we say, safety first. Anyway, super awesome. And we appreciate those guys very much for hooking us up. They've been taking care of us, so can't even imagine. We just we just ordered a new belt from them. And um, somebody goofed. That might have been me. I don't know how it happened. Trust me, I know the difference between OG, Maverick, and an X3. Somehow, I clicked on OG. I must have been really tired. I have been lately because we've been running our butts off. Anyway, they're hooking us up. They're helping us. They're, you know, we're going to ship that one back. They're getting us one out overnight. It's going to be here tomorrow kind of thing. So we appreciate them so much. Thanks, guys. Anyway, we're going to pull this guy out right now for the Pledge Challenge. Pledge Challenge. Check it out. Got it. We even got the inside pretty clean. I want to say pretty clean because it was late at night, you know? We're working our butts off here. Pretty good to me. Let's pull it out in the driveway and take a look. Pledge challenge. Oh, and I fixed the doors. Did you hear that? Wait, let's turn it off. Check these doors out. I've been fighting with this door like you wouldn't believe. The latch was loose. It was just, it was, the bolt was loose. It was just basically falling off. But I fixed it. Look how nice it opens. Just like that. Shuts like that. Done. So awesome. Anyway, back to the pledge challenge. Hopefully there's not anything behind it. I'm pretty sure I can. So nice out here right now. It's like 95. We have the toy hauler closed up and the air conditioning running in it just so that when we load this X3 in it and go in there to tie it down, we won't have to sweat like crazy people. Anyway, let's check this thing out. Ready? Okay, here we go. I'll play some crazy music or something, you know. Some like B roll music or whatever. We'll play something right here. Or I'll just talk right over the top of the music. Whatever works best. But it looks pretty good, right? I'm sure there's some spots we missed. We'll bust out a rag and wipe it down again here and there. Oh yeah, I can see some on the paint right there. Alright. But it looks good. It hasn't looked this good since it was brand new. And I don't even know that it looked this good when it was new. Pledge challenge. We're continuing the pledge challenge. There it is. It looks good. Hopefully the camera picks it up, but it looks amazing. 